The Willis Pipe Organ at St Mary and St Giles Church, Stony Stratford, shows Victorian engineering at its best. The idea is simple enough, making a keyboard to get wind to blow through a pipe which produces sound. But doing that gets complex. First, you need air, and lots of it. At the back of the church, in a cupboard below the organ, there's a large blower, housed in a wooden chest to deaden the sound. From here, air is blown into a large primary reservoir, which sends air along tubes into a set of further reservoirs. These are at different pressures to feed different groups of pipes. Each reservoir sends wind to a separate airtight box called a soundboard. The soundboard does two things. It sends air to the rank of pipes the organist wants, and it sends air to the specific pipe that's needed. So, when a key is pressed on the keyboard, a switch completes a circuit through an electronic control system. A signal is sent to a small solenoid or magnet. There are hundreds of these magnets, and each one opens a valve. This lets air into a small leather bellows called a motor. The motors convert the steady flow of wind into a pulse, and as the motor opens, it pulls down a tracker rod to open a leather-surfaced wooden valve called a pallet. The pallet lets wind into a groove channel immediately below the pipes, which are linked with that particular key on the keyboard. Pipes are arranged on the soundboard with ranks in one direction and notes in the other. Nothing sounds until one or more stops is pulled out at the console. Each stop on the organ opens or closes its own rank of pipes. When the organist pulls out a stop, a slider mechanism on each soundboard is pulled sideways by a large solenoid. In the workshop, you can see how holes in the timber slides line up with holes in the soundboard to let the air through. It's common to use stops in combination to achieve more musical effects, and the more frequently used groupings can be set from a single piston. To add complexity, and to achieve an even greater range of sounds, the three keyboards and foot pedals are each linked with their own section of ranks of pipes within the organ. The centre keyboard, or manual, is the grate, containing the basic organ sound. The top keyboard is the swell. The pipes for the swell are contained within a swell box, fitted with louvered shutters operated by the organist. With the box closed, sound is quieter. Or it can swell out to full volume. The bottom keyboard is the choir, with softer tones often used to accompany choral singers. Finally, there's the pedal for the feet, connected to the bass pipes. And when you put all these together, the technical and musical brilliance of our Willis organ is clear for everyone to hear.